What's going on, everybody? Jacob Snow here, bringing you another Dragon Ridge review. This time, we are going to be reviewing the Corvus Belli Infinity set. Uh, Ariadna equipped Mirage 5 with Sergeant Duroc and Lieutenant Margot Berthier. I have no experience with this game. Uh, from what I've read of their rule book, it is a skirmish game that features a highly interactive combat system. But ultimately, we are here for really cool joy toy figures. So, let's get this started. Alright, so off the rip, uh, there was minor damage to the package. There's our two stands, but as you can see right here, it's got this big old divot. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. So let's look over what we got. First off, we've got our giant wolf man here. I'm sure he's a specific character. I apologize to uh, fans of Infinity. I don't know who he is. We also have this character here. Also comes with a couple extra hands. A what appears to be machine gun with grenade launcher. It's a lot of content and not a lot of space to do it. So. Headphone warning. Stuff went everywhere. Uh, oh no, hold on, give me one second to collect all that. Okay, so we're back. Um, disaster averted, found the stuff that we dropped. So time for our close-ups. First off, here is the small uh, combat weapon featuring an underslung. It appears to be a grenade launcher, a uh, very large suppressor. That, I don't know what they were intending to do with that scope, but eh. It's, it's not the worst of these that I've seen by a long, long way. But it's still pretty good. It's got some good detail on it. Uh, this is the female figure. Um, I believe that to be Lieutenant Margot. Um, lots of points of articulation. Uh, articulated arms. Both... Um, Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Um, joints are a little loose. That's not really a problem per se at this point because I'm not like heavily interfering with the figure. But uh, she also features a small sidearm that goes into this holster here. Uh, overall, very detailed. Highly flexible, uh, double leg joints, hip rotation, legs are on a ball socket, and the feet are articulated both at the ankle and at the um, tip. So that's pretty cool. Tip. This is foot tip. Anyway, um, getting to the next figure, we've got the big guy himself. Which is bound to be Sergeant Duroc. Uh, he features a nice little machete that goes in this sheet scabbard on the back. So there's his face. Very high detail sculpt. He's got exchangeable hands, just like she does. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, there's the backpack, also featuring the machete as seen earlier. Um, he's a sizable figure. I'm not sure how well he's going to stand up without the stand, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so he does stand up on his own. Uh, these are his weapons. Don't move. He comes with two of these, which appear to be very large energy weapons. Uh... Like I said, I don't know much about uh, Corvus Belli Infinity. I, I, like I said, I know it's a skirmish game. I've seen it played on uh, YouTube a couple of times. Uh, shout out to Gorilla Miniature Games. They're the ones who uh, first informed me that it existed as a game. I picked these up because... Man, this, this is a cool figure. Uh, very large. Um, referring to our 
Space Marine from the previous video. Even compared to the already tall Space Marine, this guy is massive. Uh, he dwarfs our, our regular Stormtrooper guy here, who seems to be struggling to stand, even. I mean, to be fair, if I was having to square up with these guys, I'd, I'd probably fall over, too. Um, in terms of articulation, because he's so big, his articulation's a little stiff. Like not a not a deal breaker or anything. Doesn't really like have a problem with it per se. It's just um, usually stiff articulation indicates you do need to be careful with posing and such because you don't want to make a limb snap. That is a cute little machete for a very large wolf man. Uh, regarding the teammate here, like I said, her joints are a little loose. Detail on the face isn't bad. And regarding her weapon, yep, there we go. What's nice is compared to most lower end figures, she can actually bring the weapon into battery and like into firing position without it looking weirdly unnatural. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, very nice figures. Uh, her articulation's a lot looser than his, uh, which is not entirely certain as to why that is. Um, like her. And this could just be to the pack that I got, but her right arm specifically is a lot looser. And it just popped off. Well, that's not good. Um, it appears to be a claw system, but as you can see, it her, her arm literally just moved it just slightly and it popped right off. So not sure how we're going to fix that. It might just slot right back on, but as it is, not a great start. Um, not a great start at all, actually. Compared to the uh, Space Marine, our Margo here is fragile to the point of borderline relevance. Um, all of that being said, especially considering I literally just got them out of the package and one of them is already broken... I would not give this one the uh, same 5 out of 5 that I gave the Judicar. Um, probably at this point, just I don't know if it's fixable or not. At this point, I'm going to give it a... Yeah, I'll, I'll be merciful and go 4 out of 5, just because the quality of the sculpts and everything is so incredible. Uh, but if I'm not able to fix the figure and she just becomes modification chaff, that review is going to drop sharply and i'll probably post a picture uh, onto our channel after a day or two once i uh, once i figure out if i'm able to fix it or not um worth the price of admission again difficult to tell i mean for him mm, i was able to get it on sale so it was 40 dollars cheaper than it usually is uh if it was at full price and i opened it and the arm just fell right off of one of the figures I would be very upset having gotten it on discount I'm not as busted up about it but I still don't hold that it's worth the price of admission even with that I mean he's a really cool figure don't get me wrong and these guns are neat but the asking price is 140 and like I said I got it on sale so it was a lot cheaper than that but it's still 140 bucks for what is functionally two figures, and one of them is not very durable at all. So I wouldn't say that this one is worth the price of admission. The Warhammer ones, I haven't been disappointed yet, but um, Joy Toys Infinity line, they might need to work on their modeling a little bit just because. So current review sitting at four out of five. If it is not a reparable break. It's going to probably drop down to two and a half, maybe three out of five. Um, 
I wouldn't personally spring for this box set unless it was on sale, just because, again, she broke immediately. Not great. Um, but it still comes with some really cool stuff, and again, this giant wolf dude is awesome. It's just, I don't know that just because it comes with two figures, it's worth that much of a price increase from even the Warhammer figs. Uh, the Warhammer figs, the most expensive ones on those are 80 uh, and you can get a three pack of them for like around 100, 120. So this two pack, even though it does come with a large wolf man, I don't think it was worth more than three of the Warhammer figures, especially given just my experience. I have bought one Sister of Battle. Unfortunately, didn't get to review it. My camera wasn't working at the time. And I've gotten the Ultramarine Judicar. Both of them great condition. Haven't had any breaks or anything like that. So. The value for the quality isn't quite all there for the Infinity Pack. It's not horrible by any stretch of the imagination, but I would probably just, just camp the sales on this one. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you in our next review.